This exercise, we are going to be using the cervical traction unit again, but for this, it is actually going to be cervical traction pull instead of standing cervical traction. So this is gonna be over here on your sheet, the right-hand side of the front page. There's gonna be a couple different options we can do for this, but the placement of this, I wanna show you first. So once you take this off the door, because that will be the other exercise you will have done, you're gonna go ahead and use it slightly different. You'll still put this behind your neck, and if you can, wiggle these out so that your neck is going to be on the thin bar. So this is what thin position is, your neck being directly on this. So what you're gonna do is put it behind your neck, and instead of this coming underneath the chin, it will be out in front of you. Now, depending on what your doctor prescribes, there's a few different ways that we can hold this. Right now, I am holding it straight on. That is one option. The second is 30 degrees down. So just like this. Now, also with options, you can hold on just like this, but if you feel like you're pulling yourself forward, I want you to just put two fingers up and hold just like this. So your neck will slightly be bent back, just like I have so, and I'm doing straight on. And what you will do with this is pull the neck over the back bar and hold for the prescribed amount of time. Release. Hold. Release. You can also walk around your home just like this. Make sure to keep your neck in that pulled back position the entire time.